Hey ICP, it's uh, Mr. Field here. Uh, I'm gonna just kind of guide you through the activity that we're gonna be doing today. It's you know a virtual lab, so we're talking about waves. Um, we did some things at the end of last week talking about the electromagnetic spectrum. So today's activity is just kind of walking through a simple activity with that. So you're gonna have a couple links um, on Canvas. All right, one will get you to this page, and I'm sorry, I already loaded it. But one thing you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to make sure you allow flash to happen. And there's a couple different ways. And um, I've already had to help one class kind of walk through that. So you'll have some um, links to go with that um, to help you understand how to do that if you don't already have it kind of set up to where you can do that. All right. And then we have this video to kind of walk through it. All right. So you're going to have some links to enable flash to run because that's what you'll have to do for this activity. And then we'll also have a link for this simulation and then you'll also have a link to use this document all right which are just some simple questions that are just kind of going through um going through the activity and answering them as best we can some of them are from um, some old material others you can just kind of google all right and then once we kind of get down here to number six then we get to actual doing stuff with the simulation all right but to kind of do the simulation so you have this got this knob over here okay got this knob right here that changes what the frequency is all right and what you're going to be doing is you're going to try and match all seven of these items over here all right so we've got infrared radiation x-rays ultraviolet radiation microwaves visible light radio waves and gamma rays. So that's all of our levels of the electromagnetic spectrum. It gives us some information about them. All right. And it tells us what the frequency typically is in Hertz. So we're going to go through and we're going to just have to match them. So, all right, this very first one, one times 10 to the seventh Hertz, all right, that's the wavelength or the frequency of the waves, excuse me. All right. So we got to match that. All right. Well, I have gamma ray selected and it says its frequency is one times 10 to the 19th to one times 10 to 23rd Hertz. All right, so if I hit the match button, nothing's happening. All right, so that's not right, okay? So let's just kind of go around and look, try and find one that matches up with that exponent. All right, so I'm still clicking around. Haven't found any yet. Oh, there we go, there's one. All right, radio waves, frequency one times 10 to the third, all the way to one times 10 to the ninth hertz. Okay, so if I hit match, awesome. Now I have it. Okay, now we're just gonna hit find wavelength. Gives us that, cool, makes it 30. Okay, so we have that one. Okay. Now we're gonna go on to this one. Okay, and again, four times 10 to the 19th. So again, we're gonna just kind of search around. We're gonna try and find our matching frequency, all right? So not there. Hey, look at that, there's one. So let's hit match. Okay, we're gonna hit match and then we're gonna say keeps doing this and five find wavelength. I don't know why it's doing that. There we go. That way we have that found. All right, so these are now yellow so we can see them. All right, so again, we just click kicking clicking on this knob until we find all of them. All right, what you then do next is we're going to make our own electromagnetic spectrum. So we would end up dragging these in there. Okay, I'm not going to find all these for you. All right, you got to do the other five, but there's two of them for you done. So you just have to do the other five. And then you get to, once you do that, you get to drag and drop them in their correct order by increasing wavelength or decreasing wavelength, sorry. No, and increasing inter, inter, energy. All right, so that's the relationship. Energy increases, wavelength decreases, so it gets faster. All right, again, we can kind of visualize that up here, okay? So you'll do that, okay? So that way you have it, which will be important because that's one of your questions over here is to draw, and again, I say draw, but do your best to just kind of put the words in order, all right? And then it, again, it asks you some questions about what happens to the frequency and what happens to wavelength as you move left to right. So that's the way we typically look at these. So that's really what these questions are doing is having you look at the electromagnetic spectrum. All right. So again, kind of helps you out with finding two of these. You've got to find the other five. And then you need to put them in order 
all right, with increasing amounts of energy, all right, or a decreasing wavelength, all right. So the wavelength is getting smaller. So that as you go through this, all right, those wavelengths are going to be getting shorter and shorter. Okay. So that's how you do this. So again, um, simple activity today, just kind of highlighting the electromagnetic spectrum. Hopefully you guys are all doing well. Um, again, there's going to be a couple different links in there. So make sure you pay attention to and read what each link does. So again, hopefully you guys are all doing all right. Um, I know this is getting really kind of tough and some people are getting behind. The biggest thing I, I can say is just don't stress. Try and get as much done as you can in each of your classes. And if you are finding yourself getting behind and overwhelmed and stressed out, email your teachers. All right. Let them know that, hey, you're working, but things are kind of stressful and you're just getting behind and it's kind of getting frustrating, but communicating with us is the biggest thing that you can do. All right. It's the easiest way for us to help you and understand what's going on. All right. So hot dogs, stay safe, stay healthy. Have a good one, guys.